Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to show you how to use Handlebars, the Handlebars template engine with Node.js and Express. Uh, because if you use the Node generator, I'm sorry, the Express generator, it's going to have you use Jade by default. And there's a lot of people, including myself, that aren't too fond of the Jade syntax. Um, I rather just work with regular HTML and then just be able to insert dynamic variables inside of the markup. All right, so we're going to do that, <clears throat> and we're going to use the Express Handlebars module. So we'll install that. Um, as far as command line, I'm using Windows, and I'm going to be using the Git Bash utility. You can get that here if you want to use that, or you can just use your standard command line or terminal or whatever you use. All right, so I have a an empty folder called Node HB, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up in my git bash utility and the first thing we need to do is create a package.json file and we can do that with npm init alright I'm just gonna choose the defaults for most of these description uh, we'll just say simple express app uh, the entry point I'm gonna say server.js and you can put your name Okay, that's fine. And let's open that up. Okay, so I'm going to want to run it with npm start. So in this scripts object right here, I'm just going to add start and I'm going to set that. Oops. We're going to set that to node server.js. All right, and then we need to add our dependencies. Actually, we want object. All right, so we're going to need express. And we'll use the latest version. Uh, we're going to need, I think that's it, aside from express handlebars. Okay, that'll also be the latest version. And that should be good. All right, so let's save that, and then we need to go back, and we're going to run npm install. Oops. Okay, so now what we need to do is create our server.js file. Okay, we'll open that up. And first thing we're going to do is include all of our modules. So we need express. Okay, we're also going to need the path module. And express handlebars. Okay, then we're going to initialize the app with Express. Alright, so now we need to set the view folder. So we're going to use app.set and we're going to pass in views. Alright, and then the second parameter here, we're going to use path.join and we're going to use dir name and the folder name is going to be views. Okay, next thing we're going to say app.engine and we're going to pass in handlebars. Okay, second parameter is the handlebars variable we created. And then we need to pass in what we want to use for the default layout name. Alright, so we'll say default layout and I'm just going to call that main. All right, and then finally we're going to set the view engine. View engine and we're going to set that to handlebars. Okay, so that's all the configuration we have to do for handlebars. 
Now we're just going to set the port. Okay. And we're going to set that to process.environment.port or port 3000. Okay, so now we'll do app.listen. And then we want to pass in the port. So we'll do app.get port. And then we have our function. And when it starts up, we're just going to console log. We'll say server started on port. And then we'll just concatenate app.get port. Okay. So that's going to let us run the server. But we don't have any routes. All right. So let's go ahead and define the home page route with app.get. And we want to get the slash, which is the home page. And then we'll have a function. Function takes in a request and response. And what we're going to do is render, uh, render a view. So res dot render. And let's render the home view, okay, which we'll create now. So we need to create a folder called views. All right, or whatever you you uh, put right here. It doesn't have to be views. You could use templates or uh, whatever you'd like. And then inside that, we're going to have another folder called layouts. All right. And since we said the default layout is going to be main, then we have to create a file called main.handlebars. Okay. And then in the views folder itself, we'll create a file and we'll call that home.handlebars. All right. Now the layout is going to wrap around every view. So whatever we put here will be on every page. So let's just put um, our HTML structure. Title, I'll just say my express app. All right, now we need our body. Okay, now we're just going to output the template right here. Now, handlebar syntax is usually like this two, um, two curly braces, but if we do it like this, it's not going it's not going to parse HTML, and we want our body to have HTML, so we need to put three. Okay, just like that. All right, and we'll save that. And then let's go in home.handlebars and we'll just put an H1. We'll say welcome. And we'll save that. All right, and we're going to have to restart. Oh, we didn't even start it. So let's do npm start. Okay, start it on port 3000. So we'll say localhost. 3000 and there's our welcome. Now just to do a little testing with handlebars, let's go back to our uh, route right here and we're going to add some uh, variables. So let's say we'll just create one called content. This is some content and then in the home dot handlebars, we're just going to use two curly braces and content. Now, if I reload, it's not going to show because we've we've edited the server JS code, so we have to uh, restart the server. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we get this is some content. All right, we can also do uh, conditionals. So in our route here, let's also set um, we'll set a variable called published and we'll set that to true. All right, and then back in our home view, we'll say if published. OK, 
Okay, save that. And if we go back, we're going to have to restart the server. Okay, so it still shows. Now let's set that to false. Okay, so now it's not going to show. All right, so we can use conditionals as well. Now, just to show you, if um, if you don't want to keep restarting the server, you can install something called NodeMon, and you can actually install it globally. So if we say um, npm install g NodeMon, all right, so that installed. Now we should just be able to run that NodeMon. And it's going to start it up for us, reload. Okay, so it's not showing. Let's change this back to true. Save, and without having to reload the server, it should come back. There it is. Now, the last thing I want to show you is we can also um, loop through content using each in handlebars. So uh, let's just create a variable. Now, usually this would come in through a server or through an API or something, but we're just going to use a variable here. Uh, just set stat, set it as static. All right, so people, let's say John, Sarah, and Paul, and then we'll pass in here people, pass in the people variable, and then in home. Let's say each people, and we want to end the each, and then we'll just output. You know, let's do a ul. All right, and then in here we'll do an li, and we just want to say this. All right, so we'll save that, reload. And there we go. All right, so that's just a, a regular array. If we want to send uh, an array of objects, we can do that as well. So for instance, uh, let's do first name, Peter, last name, Johnson, and then we'll do Another one. Change this to John, last name, Doe. All right, so now we'll pass that in. And back in our home view, we'll say this dot first name. All right, we get Peter and John. If we want to grab their last name we'll get their last name or we can do both and there we go no <laughs> well that doesn't look right all right so to me this is is much cleaner and, and easier than Jade um, and yeah that's about it just wanted to show you guys how you could just quickly set up a server and use handlebars as your view engine. Alright, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.